Hi there. Now in this question, we're asked to find the binomial expansion of 2 plus x all to the power 5, simplifying the terms. And then in the second part, hence find the coefficient of y cubed in the expansion of 2 plus 3y plus y squared all to the power 5. OK, well, if this is a question you'd like to have a go at and haven't done so already, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, come back and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, this is all about the binomial expansion, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with this particular formula. If not, you can always check out on my website how to do this kind of thing. So in this example, we've got a, which is going to correspond with the 2, b corresponds with the x, and n corresponds to the 5. So using this, what we can do then is we'll just write down for part 1 here, we've got 2 plus x. I'm going to have to squeeze this in because it's going to be quite a long expression. 2 plus x to the power 5. It's identical to, OK, then we've got 5C0, OK, we'll talk about these values in a moment, 5C0 and so on. And then we take A, which is the 2, and raise it to the power N, which is 5. And then we take the other term, in this case X, and we put that to the power 0. And then plus, and we move on to this term here, which is going to be 5C1. And then we take the a part, which is 2, and reduce its power by 1. So it's 2 to the power 4. And at the same time, now increasing the x power. So it's x to the power 1. All the time, these two numbers, remember, always add up to our value of n here, 5. OK? So we've got plus, next term is going to be 5c2. Then we drop the power on the 2 to the power 3 and increase the x power up by 1 again, so it's now up to 2, so that's making a total of 5. Next term, 5c3, 2 squared, and then we've got x all cubed. Getting to there now, OK, we've got 5c4 is the next term, 2 to the power 1, and then x to the power 4. Last term now, plus 5c5. 2 to the power 0, OK, and then x to the power 5. OK, so we just need to simplify this. Now, these values here, often referred to as combinations, OK, 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, and so on, you can work them out on your calculator, or another way of getting them is through Pascal's triangle. Hopefully you're familiar with that. We'll just go through this. We start with 1, and then we put 1, 1, either side. And then we put 1, and we add these two numbers together, giving us 1, 2, 1. Put another 1 down, add the 1 and 2 to give us 3. And 2 and 1 is 3, and then put a 1 there. And if we carry this on, this is the fourth one, so we get 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And then here we have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And by using Pascal's triangle, if you want, these values, remember, are the values of 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, and so on, respectively. So 5c0 is 1. So what we've got here is 1 times 2 to the power 5, which is 32 times anything to the power 0 is 1. So you're just going to get 32 from that first term. 5c1 is 5. It's this value here. Or you could just type it into your calculator. And then it's multiplied by 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So you've got 16 times 5, which is 80. So you've got 80x. This term, 5c2, Either type it into your calculator as 5c2, you should find you get 10. 10 times 2 cubed, 2 cubed is 8, 10 times 8 is 80, so you're going to have 80 again, and it's going to be though x squared. 
Next term up, 5c3 is another 10. So you've got 10 times 4. 10 fours are 40, so you've got 40x cubed. 5c4, that's 5. You've got 2 to the power 1, so that's just 2. 5 times 2, well that's going to be 10. So you've got plus 10 now, x to the 4. And for the last term, 5c5 is 1. 2 to the power 0 is 1. You're just left with x to the power 5. OK, so there's our expansion using the binomial expansion formula. Okay, now that's part one. Let's move on to part two now. And again, if you'd like to pause the video at this stage, just give you a moment to do that. Okay, welcome back then. What we've got here in part two then is to find out the term, the, well, the coefficient, I should say, of y cubed in this expansion of 2 plus 3y plus y squared all to the power 5. Now it says hence, so obviously it's related to what we've just done here. And if we look closely you can see that it's basically the same, it's got the same power, it's got the 2 at the front here. It must be that we're replacing the x with 3y plus y squared. So we know that if we were to expand this we would get the first term 32 for this term here, it would be plus 80 times, instead of x now, 3y plus y squared. And if we went on to the next term, it would be 80 times x squared, but it's now 3y plus y squared, all squared. And if we just do one more term, okay, we'll do plus 40 times x cubed, but again it's going to be 3y plus y squared, all cubed. And it's going to go on like this. Now, we're only interested in terms that contain y cubed. And that's why I've abandoned this from here on, because I can see that if we were to take the further terms, they wouldn't involve terms in y cubed. We're only going to get terms in y cubed off of this term here and within this term here. If we look at 3y plus y squared all squared, okay, let's just put it down here, see what we've got. 3y plus y squared all squared, that's 3y plus y squared times another 3y plus y squared. When we expand this, we're going to get 9y squared, when we do 3y times 3y, we're not going to be interested in that one. But we are going to get 3y times y squared here, which is 3y cubed. And we're also going to get another one from this pairing here, 3y cubed. So that's going to be a total of 6y cubed coming off of this bracket. Remember, we're going to have 80, though, times, uh, times it, OK, as well. So what we've got then is I'm going to look at the term, OK, in y cubed first of all, and then worry about the coefficient afterwards. So we're going to have 80 then multiplied by what will be 6y cubed, 3y cubed plus another 3y cubed, 6y cubed there, OK? So that's that part in there. Now, when it comes to this next bracket, OK, that is 3y plus y squared all cubed. Let's just write that one out here. 3y plus y squared multiplied by another 3y plus y squared multiplied by another 3y plus y squared. OK? Then what we're going to have from this, OK, is going to be the, well, for the only y cubed term, that is, it's going to come from the 3y here multiplied by the 3y here, which is going to be 9y squared, multiplied by another 3y here, which is going to be 27y cubed, the result of just cubing all of 3y. So this 
result then is going to be added to this one. It's going to be 40 times that though. It's going to be 40 multiplied by the 3y all cubed. So let's just point that one out there. OK, that's that part there. So what does this give us when we expand this? Well, you should find you end up with 1560 y cubed. So when it comes to the coefficient, it follows that the coefficient okay, of y cubed What's that going to be? Well, that's just the number in front of y cubed. So it's going to equal 1560.